I was also asked to sort of also do a, a little bit of a summary of the day. Uh, are, are you still with me? Are you still at energy? Yes. You still want to listen to this? All right. Um, I thought I would, you know, I, I, I'm sort of, I've been, I've been pregnant for the past two years. I've been pregnant, ladies, ladies and mostly ladies and gentlemen, uh, and, I, and, I, and, and tomorrow I'm giving birth. I'm giving birth to my baby tomorrow. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a framework that I use to, to summarize a lot of things about how we can, you know, challenge the way things are to get to a better place. Um, and one, one of the places where we are now in women in tech is something that I, w- I would like to see change. Uh, I've been very fortunate, you know, for the past three years, I've, I've, um, I've performed in uh, over 300 events in Finland. I'm the most sole business speaker in Finland right now. It's, it's an amazing thing. Yeah, I, I, I really have to pitch myself. But, you know, I got a lot of insight because I said a third of these companies are, are tech companies. A lot of insights. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm not seeing enough women. I'm not seeing enough young people. And I'm not seeing enough immigrants uh, in, in the management and in these companies in Finland. And I think that that's a, a threat for Finland, a threat for, the, for these companies. That's why I, I do these events on a voluntary basis, because I want to see, you know, more women, more diversity, more young people, more immigrants in Finnish companies. So I do pro bono for these. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, so this, is, uh, this is my child. Uh, could you put on my presentation? Here's my child. Is he, is he, he's uh, Finland's... Uh, Little Prince. Uh, his, his name is Niklas Pukki. You know, Nicholas Claus. And uh, it's the story of when he was 19 years old, you know, 300 years ago. He, wanted to be, he had an entrepreneurial dream, but uh, unfortunately, uh, like a lot of our dreams for, for becoming something else when we grow up, he was from a city, and, and, and this is a, a nice quote that I like to quote from, uh, is that, you know, we know, what we, we know what we are today, but we do not know what we may be. And this is the, uh, the, the, the framework that I use, that I've used in, in the Finnish Miracle, which has done well in this country. But this is a framework for children. And it's a really cool place that he starts from. It's called status quo. Status quo. Who has been like, in status quo in, in their companies or their you know, organizations? It's a place where nothing ever changes. You know? and, and we see this in, 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 so, in so many companies. And the paradox is, by introducing diversity, we're able to break the status quo. I remember being a young consult- consultant after business school and my, the senior consultant in, in our firm went to pitch something very exciting in technology to the, to the board of Kesco in 1997. And, they, and it was a great presentation. It was a presentation about something called the internet. And they were listening and listening. And then at the end, you know, the chairman of the board says, that is very interesting. But now, how do we make sure this never comes to Finland? <laughs> but this is a true story. It's a true story. And, and, you know, and diverse people break the, the status quo. Diverse people, diverse teams break the status quo and bring us further. Uh, uh, in the company where I was a, a director of, of, of development at Veikkaus, you know, we had a, a very diverse uh, um, leader. He was a former communist kid turned diplomi insinori a f- music background, wonderful guy, you know, he was in the 1970s, you know, peace and love kind of guy, a really diverse, open-minded chap, right? And he decided, you know, we'll be the first in Finland to go onto the internet, and the first actually in the world to go into the internet. And today, Veikkaus is actually the biggest internet shop in the country with 800 million in turnover, because we started early, we started early going to a place called Openness Village, which these are cool in Finnish. In, in the Finnish version, it's uh, um, I, I, I think I, I created a new Finnish term. Status quo in Finnish is Yumilompolo. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it cool? I like it. Yeah, Yumilompolo. And, and, and my speeches are are called Pako Yumilompolosta. <laughs> you know. And the first step is Openness Village. This is a really cool term. I have a, I have a great friend, a former copywriter. He's called Yi Karjalainen. He's a good friend of mine. He's great at copywriting. And this, this place is called Avarala. Avarala. Openness. It's, isn't it a beautiful place? And, and, and that's the openness that we, we talked about today, about bringing everybody on board in an open discussion, you know, a transparency, diversity, 
These, these things are, are the things that add value to our businesses in a sustainable way. And, and, we've, and I was very impressed by, by a, a lot of the openness between colleagues and the willing to help women and others to, to integrate the workforce because we are all richer for it in the long term. Avarala is definitely a, a, a place that was talked about today. This, uh, this next place is called, uh, and, yeah, this next place is called Trial. Trial Village, this is a pretty cool place. It's called, in Finnish, it's called Valkula. It's a cool place, that too. This is the place of trial and error. You know, the trial and error that we talked about during the panel discussion today. This is something that we really need to, to, to develop in Finland is a, a healthier relationship to, to, to our trials and to our errors. You know, this, you know, that, that culture that is gone, I, I'm not convinced as, a, you know, some of our panelists seem to suggest that this is completely gone from Finland. Uh, but we, we need to work at understanding that our mistakes are, uh, you know, stepping stones towards, towards, um, towards our success. And I, to be honest, uh, I think that a lot of my female colleagues uh, uh, are even stricter with this. Failure seems to be uh, uh, more stressful for my, for my female colleagues. Personal experience, no, no, no research on this one. But that's the, the beauty of business, is that we try things together, we fail together, and then we succeed together on the long term. And that, that's so, so important. Then, then this, this really cool, cool thing, um, effort village. This is, uh, this is really, really important. And it's an equation that I, that I use a lot. And in this equation, you have you know, the, the time you, you invest in things. But more importantly, it is the, the working intelligence and the working culture that makes a difference. I could talk about this for a long, long time, but you know, what's, what's interesting here, when you create a network between women, a network between uh, people who think alike, that creates trust that we talked about, that's, uh, that, uh, that we uh, heard from both, of our, from both of our keynotes this morning, you know, trust is, is, is huge. You know? You know, who, who are the, the hardest working Europeans? Who knows that? Sorry? The Greeks, yes! And they're in deep shit, aren't they? <laughs> yes, but we shouldn't laugh too hard because, you know, when I came to Finland in 1992, the, the country looked very Greek. You know, you know, the banks were failing. There were 20% percent unemployment where I was in, in, in central Finland. So, you know, we all get a turn in history, but the point is, it's not the amount of work you do, it's the intelligence, but especially the, the, the culture. And, you know, there's one, one really cool thing about Finnish culture and Finnish networks that is overwhelmingly powerful in triggering change in bringing about change. Do you know what this is? What is the work culture quality of Finnish people, Finnish women especially, that is the, an ultimate driver of efficiency in companies? Any ideas? And we talk about it today. Yes, yes. It's trust, and you know how, how much this is. It's, it's really funny. I, you know, I, I, I do this... Uh, I do this every time, and I, I want to just check with you guys, and it's so fun to do this. All right. Don't touch it right now. Very cool. I love doing this to Finnish audiences. It's so funny. Uh, you know, if this happens in Finland, the percentage of population that believes it'll come back to me if a police officer or somebody you know finds your wallet. What is it? Zero. I'm looking for figures between a zero and 100. 99 is a very good guess. The, 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 uh, the right answer is 97 if a police officer finds it. But then it goes way down if it's somebody you know who finds it. Then it goes down to 94%. And in both cases, Finns are number one in the world. And why is this important? Because when you read, you know, work sociologists such as Francis Fukuyama telling, telling you that, you know, in organizations where the trust index is high, everything happens faster with greater certainty and ultimately, ultimately cheaper than in other organizations. In networks, the trust factor is huge in developing efficiencies and developing better, better companies and better tech companies. So, yes, absolutely. Whatever you can invest in that, and we saw it today uh, in, in Stephanie's presentation, very, very big factor. But then, then there's, uh, there's this. It's uh, called Bravery Village, and in Finnish, of course, it's called... Sisula, of course, Sisula, you know, and, and Sisula is, is a very important place. And it's, it's you know, it, go, it, it has a lot to do with motivation, 
Uh, motivation that we know comes mostly, as, as, uh, as Pia mentioned in her presentation, motivation comes from basically three things. I call them the three C's of motivation. It's, you know, choice, competence, and community. These are the three things that motivate you the, more, the most to really go out there and do your most over the long, long term. But, you know, the, the Sisu thing, you know, I, I, I don't really understand anything about Sisu. I just, I just, you know, whenever I wake up in the morning that the, my, my, my wife from Savo gets up a little bit late, you know, I, I, I see that she transforms into something completely different. You know, it's like, Manik, Lapset, Mies, Aupari, Suabat, Auton, Kolu, Nyt, Boom, 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 You know, I'm there, you know, Rookie Ver, baby. Rookie Ver. It's only breakfast, okay? Take it easy. But, you know, it's, it, you know, it's, it's this unbelievable power, you know, this, you know, this, you know, you know this uh, unbelievable women, you know, that have, it's not very stylish. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But it's unbelievable power to get things done. And you're going to have to do this, you know, this once in a while in your organization to get forward, to get you know, beyond the 16%, 22%, now uh, 26% that we've seen in some companies in, in female leadership. You're going to have to tr break those barriers. It's going to hurt a little bit. You're going to break, you know, some eggs sometimes. But I think that the, these are eggs are worth breaking. I've got a little bit of a, of a, of a Sisu test for you. Are you Sisu Kaita? Are you really ready for more women and tech? Okay, here is your test. Why don't you stand up? It's been a long day. Stand up. This is a very, very hard test for Finnish women. I know it's very, very hard. But I trust you can do this. Take a deep breath. It's been a long day. Like, inside and out. And, and then one more time. Okay, now do something that, to really symbolize your collaboration. Remember, there's a special place in hell for women that don't help each other. So in, 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 a, in a symbol of, you know, collaboration, take your colleagues by, by, the, uh, the, you know, by their shoulders like this. And look at me, and, and look at me, and make a make a chain, right? Like a chain. Yeah, that's a powerful collaboration, high trust chain, right? Okay, and try to go from work it so you can go from you know from right and to left. Oh, look at one big female team working together, looking fantastic. Okay, but that's the easy part of your task. Are you ready for the hard part? All right, the, your hard part. Oh, by the way, remember her? She's uh. She's a great lady, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, who says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And this is a man who said, you're doing great. You know? Oscar Wilde, who said, be yourself, everyone, everybody else is taken. These are great. And this is the, the book, Become a Friend. But this is your task. Ready? One, two, three. And your task is this. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Could you bring it back up for me? This is your... Back, 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 back to the last one, and then, yes. Oh, sorry, we're getting technical problems here. And here, ready? One, two, three. We are the champions, my friends. Ba, 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 ba. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Ba, ba, ba. We are the champions. We are the champions, no time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. You are women champions! Yeah! Yeah! All right. And now, ladies, to reward you for your sisu, we have selected four of the most handsome men <laughs> from the Polytech Choir to entertain you. Please give them a very warm welcome. Gentlemen! <laughs>